Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Coming up November 12, HBO Pay-Per-View will take you live to Las Vegas for the third fight between number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines, and one of his most persistent nemeses, Mexican superstar Juan Manuel Marquez. They first met seven and a half years ago. Marquez came in on a 13-fight win streak. He was trying to emerge from the larger shadows cast by his Mexican countrymen, Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. Pacquiao was coming off of an 11th round knockout of Barrera just six months before. They met in Las Vegas for a featherweight title, and what transpired became one of the most memorable and controversial fights of the recent era. Let's take a look at how I called it with Larry Merchant and Emmanuel Stewart. Not since the early days of Mike Tyson have there been as many gym legends surrounding a fighter as is the case now for Pacquiao. Out of the wild card gym in Hollywood come stories of sparring partners with broken ribs, sparring partners who went home after one day, knockouts day after day in sparring. None of that means anything now. Marquez is no sparring partner, but Pacquiao has great talent. Well, you know, it actually depends on who we're the sparring partners to. If you're fighting with top notch guys for sparring partners, you're not going to be knocking those guys out. Marquez comes out in a more offensive stance than he usually does. Both, guy, both guys seem to be a little uncomfortable right now trying to get their range and get their rhythm. Deafening crowd noise as Marquez gets in a hard left hook to the body and a good right hand over the top. And a straight right hand down the pipe. Pacquiao's a southpaw. Marquez may dispense with his jab sometimes and just lead with that straight right. One of his better punches. Obviously, he's determined to make the jab work as well. And it's easier against Pacquiao than against a lot of other southpaws because of Manny's desire to square his shoulders up and trade shots. Pac Pacquiao is showing a lot more upper body movement than most southpaws that come straight in a lot. But right now, he seems to be having a problem with getting his rhythm together. And at this stage here, he looks to be a little bit wide with everything he does. His body position, everything, is leaving himself exposed when he throws his punches. And he's getting picked off down the middle by Marquez, as he did on a quick left hook there. And he fires the straight left hand, and there's the punching power. As I'm looking at I don't know if, it was, if Marquez is really that hurt or whether he just got caught with a straight shot right down the pipe. Marquez does not appear to be hurt or dazed. No, but he's still standing in the same position to get hit with a straight punch. And he got hit with another one and another one. He's hurt now. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's not moving his head at all. He's just standing in one position. This is why we use the word sensation. We are two if he doesn't move his head, he's going down again. And Juan Manuel Marquez has been down twice. And he's off balance again. Lands a good straight left. That momentarily backs Pacquiao off. But he's, he's going straight back. Third knockdown of the first round. And he caught Marquez going down. And I'm not sure Juan Manuel will be able to get off. Cortez is going to let the fight continue. 30 seconds left in the first. Marquez has been down three times already. And Pacquiao lands another huge left. And another big one. But he's not getting away from the straight left at all. There's no head movement at all. This is not the fight that Juan Manuel Marquez would have wanted. Marquez is sure. showing tremendous heart and determination to survive this round. And even if he gets past this round, I don't think it's going to change the outcome because his head is not moving. Manny Pacquiao is a storm. Juan Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? Manny Pacquiao coming at Marquez like a typhoon across the Pacific. That was the first knockdown. Here's the second one. And at this point, it was as much speed as power that was befuddling Marquez. Well, Marquez came out and tried to make a statement. He's the bigger looking fighter in the ring. 
Maybe he thought he would be strong and drive Pacquiao off. He paid a stiff price. Marquez's trainer, Nacho Berestain, one of the very best in the business. He tried to use that minute effectively. But now Pacquiao goes back to work, and again the fight goes to a faster pace than that at which Marquez would want the fight. If Marquez would simply move his head, with a, uh, any bend it down or turn off to the side, anything, he could definitely neutralize a lot of what Pacquiao's doing. But Pacquiao's hitting it with one punch, a straight left hand. And Marquez leading from bleeding the nose profusely. profusely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a gutcher. It looks like Pacquiao must have broken that nose. May have. He got hit with two straight lefts directly on the nose. Pacquiao's upper body movement is befuddling Marquez. Not sure where to throw. And Pacquiao knows exactly where to throw. Straight left. He caught him again. And you can notice Pacquiao is not throwing right hooks or anything else. Just strictly one punch, straight left hand, right through the middle. He's so fast. So explosive. Hard to stop him even when he's just throwing the one punch. Now he lands a jab over the top and a little hook. Another straight left hand. Marquez coming back with a left and a right in the zone. If it levels out, it could become a sensational fight. Marquez is making the stand of his life because this is the fight of his life. Marquez waited years for a chance to rise to the top in the division. Here was the opportunity. And in round one, Manny Pacquiao suddenly shut out the lights. Now they're gradually coming back on. Marquez fighting more of the kind of fight now we anticipated at the start. And as the pace slows, Marquez begins to look just a little more comfortable. All that blood, Manny. The blood How does it affect the fight? It definitely affects you because a lot of time, not only is bleeding outside, actually is bleeding in, inside. He's going down the guy's breathing as, as best as up to breathing inside. So he's probably swallowing blood also. Not to mention, yeah, I started to say, you're swallowing blood. Straight left hand lands just under the chin. He, he's avoiding a lot of the straight punches now by dropping off to the bit to his right. Peter did that in the beginning of the fight. He wouldn't be in the situation he's in right now. Marquez lands a solid left. And another one just before the bell. And actually had a pretty good round, even considering the blood and everything else. Jinky Pacquiao, Manny's wife, as excited as all the other Filipino fans who are here. Much to shout about so far. Debra. Hi, now, may pay attention. Alex. Pay attention. Yeah, you gotta set up and go from the defense and head move. Yeah, okay? yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, he wants one follower, okay? You gotta step. Cut the ring off, okay, son? Yeah, you look so hot, I'm not gonna get you, okay? Galawa, Mulu, Galawa, Mulu, sit up and move. Move your head, move your head. Left hand and come back with the hook. We can, okay? All right, combinations, not one punch at a time. Combinations, you hear me? Marquez making his stand, coming back putting himself into the fight. Right. Third round of a schedule 12. Been about five rounds worth of action in the first two. You know that first round with three knockdowns could be a 10-6 round for Pacquiao. Yes. So there's a mountain that Marquez has to fight, to climb. Well, and in round two, Pacquiao got off 77 punches by CompuBox count, only 45 for Marquez, so it wouldn't be at all surprising if the judges gave the second round to Pacquiao as well, which would put him five points ahead in the fight. Hard body shot by Marquez. He'll want to land a lot more of those. 
Pacquiao's got a nice little body rhythm, moving back and forth, side to side. And all the time looking for one big shot. Straight left hand. Marquez gets in a low blow with the right hand. Joe Cortez says keep him up. It would be a good idea for Manny to start using the right hand now to try to set up his left. And he does and lands one, but Marquez gets in two hard body shots. Marquez now a lot more aware of Pacquiao's speed and therefore has a little bit more of a clue how to deal with it. Pacquiao looks so strong in this deal. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, one of the hottest in the sport. Hard right hand by Marquez. He did a good job with Manny, too. He's got him moving around his body, almost like a little Filipino version of a Mike Tyson. Well, he's a little side to side, brother, but he explodes out of there with that straight left. Hard left hand by Pacquiao, landed flush. Freddie Roach is the sometime trainer of Mike Tyson. But by far, his prize at this moment is Pacquiao. Blood coming out of Marquez's nose again after Pacquiao lands a couple more of those straight lefts. There aren't a lot of punchers who muster as much body movement over a three-round period as does Manny Pacquiao, Manny. No, there's a lot of body movement. His, his main thing is that still he's looking for that straight left, and I think it's just a matter of time maybe before he lands it again. Crowd chanting Marquez, Marquez, Marquez as his supporters try to get him back into the fight. But when a guy comes back like this, even some of Pacquiao's supporters start respecting him. And his actually looked like winning this round. All right, let's get some ice on him now. Hey, don't push him. Yeah, you won the two rounds. You won the second and third round. Yeah. Don't let him catch you like you did in the first round. Speaking of, Push him into the ropes. Speaking of trainers, the trainer also in Marquez's corner is one of the best trainers in the game, too. And Nacho Nacho Bernstein Bernstein, doing a yeah. great, great job not only trying to coagulate the bleeding, but also in getting his fighter back into the fight. Aristain was the guru of the crafty Daniel Zaragoza during Zaragoza's long and curious career in the sport. He's had a lot of other good fighters as well. Marquez is his prize pupil of the moment. And Harold had to score the first three rounds. Okay, Jim. 29-25, two rounds to one. Manny Pacquiao. Jim, that first round was a 10-6 round. You get an extra point when you knock a guy off his feet. You get two extra points when you knock him off his feet twice. You get three extra points for putting him off his feet three times. So subtract three from 10 line, you get a 10 6 round. Manny Pacquiao, two rounds to one. Pacquiao trying to just barge through Marquez with that left hand again. You heard Beristain trying to build Marquez's confidence, telling him he's won the second and third rounds. And you know, in my mind, I actually thought he may have won that second round. So it was quite, I thought he won the third round, but the, the second round was even questionable. Well, the point is, it's a competitive fight at this stage again, providing he can stay away from the straight left hand. Marquez now in the counter-punching style that got him here. And you notice with, with Pacquiao was throwing his left hand with so much power he was getting off balance and was getting countered a lot with Marquez. So now he slowed up by throwing his left hand without extending it all the way where he won't leave himself exposed as much as he was earlier in the last two rounds. Larry's point is right on target. Gradually, moment by moment, they're edging toward fighting more Marquez's fight yes. than Pacquiao's fight. 
Absolutely. So once again, every time he throws the left hand now, Monk is, is trying to counter. So round one produced the shock factor. You can say you understand. You can think you understand. I know how fast he is. I know how powerful he is. But you don't know for sure until it's in front of you. And clearly, Manny Pacquiao was faster and more powerful than Juan Mar Manuel Marquez was ready for. Him. Since that time, Marquez has gotten his feet on the canvas. Well, I think he got caught with that straight left before he got adjusted to the left-handed rhythm, and he never recuperated. The second knockdown and the third was simply because he was still half dazed. Now he seemed to realize that he's getting hit mainly with just one punch, and he seems to be focusing on concentrating on avoiding that left hand, just like he did here. And as a result of that, Pacquiao is having a problem then because his entire style is off of the left hand. Still with his great speed, and he is able from time to time to get in, land the left, and then get back out. There's a hard right hand by Marquez that jolted Pacquiao. And Pacquiao, when jolted, wants to fight back immediately. That's a man that loves his job. Punching out there is not being effective, and you let him lead to you. Let's get your head moving, back him up with, with the jab, and this is all combinations, okay? Okay. All right. Remember, you did that hook's a good shot for you. Go with the hook and then the uppercut behind it, okay? Okay. All right. More than one shot. You hear me? Yeah. Deep breath. All right. Let's go, guys. Marquez trained in the mountains of southern Mexico. At 16,000 feet, he was running in the snow. And perhaps that kind of effort is what kept him going through the travails of the first round or two. When I trained Julio Cesar Chavez in Mexico, we trained at 8,000 and 10,000, and I thought that was ridiculous. But to get up to 16,000, uh, you can't even hardly breathe. Plus, it's always cold up there all year long. With 30 seconds remaining in round one, Juan Manuel Marquez got up at the count of six from his third knockdown at the hands of Manny Pacquiao. And at that moment, it did not look as though he would make it out of the round. Now we're into round five, and Marquez is feeling his way back into the fight. Pacquiao's initial burst of fury has now been quenched. Marquez hunting and pecking through a counter-punching exercise. Stuns Pacquiao momentarily there. Body shot by Marquez. Pacquiao says, I'll try one myself. The blood, which was a gusher in round two, has now been reduced to a trickle just from the left nostril of Marquez. And that's one of the hardest things it is is to stop a bleeding nose. It's worse than their cut. Pacquiao unmarked. Catches Marquez with the right hook. Hard right hand by Marquez. Follows up with another. Pacquiao says, I'm fine. Holds his hands in the air. Low blow by Marquez. He got away with it. Pacquiao comes back. With two big left hands, right on the button. So just as Marquez decided to get offensive, Pacquiao was able to come back with that left hand. And they're trading shots again. Marquez backing off as if to say maybe it's not such a good idea to trade. No, but you know, Pacquiao still is such a big puncher and got so much spirit about him. Marquez is one that's controlling the fight, though. He's stronger now. He seems to be very comfortable with the way that the, the fight is going, and, and they've gotten his rhythm now. And 
We're wondering if there might be a little cut over Manny Pacquiao's right eye. There is. In the eyelid. Hey, you know, Marquez has more things than he can do. Well, Fred Perlman Pacquiao shooting for that strict of his fate without. Marquez's right hand is finding the target over and over and over. He won the round big, and he's got Pacquiao bleeding from his eye. He won the round, but now he's got his confidence up, and the crowd is up now. It's a Mexican crowd now. Right hand uppercut hook from Marquez, who is back in the fight. And, and Larry, I can assure you, he's swallowed a lot of blood inside, too. Pacquiao looks to the heavens and crosses himself as he comes out for round six. Marquez landed 14 out of 29 power shots in the fifth round. He is fighting his way back into it on the scorecards. His punches are clean precision punches, the kind that really creates excitement with the judges and the crowd because he always catches Pacquiao with his head straight up. In addition to being a great trainer, Nacho Beristain is an outstanding cut man, and he has stopped the bleeding in Marquez's nose. Now, cut man Lenny DeJesus will try in Pacquiao's corner to keep his fighter from suffering any more damage to the right eye. Good body shot by Marquez. Pacquiao comes back reaching with a body shot of his own. When he reaches with his hands like that, he opens himself up to Marquez's yes, right hand counter. Pacquiao, when he attacks, he attacks with such a big lunge and a big step that it, it's great if he lands a shot, he's going to have a lot of power. And if he doesn't, he's always off balance and you can take advantage of him. That's why some people thought Marquez could win the fight. Well, we told you it'd be a candidate for fight of the year. It's already clearly that. It's the crowd of the year in boxing. I don't know when I've heard a crowd this wildly excited about a fight. But once again, off Pacquiao was trying to line up that straight left hand. And it could be the comeback of a lifetime for Juan Manuel Marquez. You, you take too much of a chance. You throw on the top first. Don't go to the body first. Because that's the, you're at risk. You, you, you win in five rounds. After, after you lost the first round, you won all from then on. Manny. Not too long, not too far. He can counter. Now use a double jab and straight left hand behind him. Back this guy up. You don't let this guy take control of the fight. You hear me? Huh? Okay. Big right hand from Marquez. Wings it over the defense of Pacquiao. 
which pleases his spouse so much. CompuBox numbers in the sixth round. Marquez 16 out of 41. A lot of them hard right hand shots. Manny Pacquiao landing only five out of 35 punches. So Pacquiao's offense increasingly blunted by Marquez's increasingly effective tactical boxing. Marquez's straight right hand landing with greater and greater frequency. Maybe he's the man who's going to score the knockout. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. Now, we got to remember, a fight is scored on a 10-point must system. It's not rounds. In rounds, I've got it four rounds to two. Juan Manuel Marquez, but Pacquiao still has that 10-6 round in the first round, so in points, 56-55, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Marquez is changing up. He's shooting straight right hands, and then they switch on. He throws a right hook around the side, so Pacquiao's putting his hand out to block for straight punches, and sometimes you hit on the side. Ready, Roach asked Pacquiao to double jab and hit him with straight left hands. Pacquiao is not confident enough to go out and execute because Marquez is countering too effectively. Marquez has so many different things he can do. Like say, he can work an effective jab, he can punch to the body, he can throw uppercuts, work, do different things. And you know, when you're a really seasoned fighter, you should be able to handle a fighter that only is effective with one punch. The fighting CPA, Juan Manuel Marquez, takes a hard left hand shot from Pacquiao. But he's warmed up now. He's, he got caught cold earlier. Yeah, both guys are starting to show a little wear and tear facially, too. Marquez and Atchard rips are getting hit with a straight left again, but he come right back. Marquez's upper lip is badly swollen, just as is the nose flattened out. He's taking so many punches right straight down the middle from Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's right eye is bleeding a little cut at the outside of the eyebrow. And suddenly the left eye's got a little swelling. What a crowd. They go back and forth, chanting, cheering, challenging each other, just as the fighters do in the ring. That was a good, good move right there on Marquez's part. He dropped right it up just enough for that great straight left hand. Just barely missed it. But Pacquiao's left hand did get in. Yes, it did. One of showing them. A, a better plan of attack in this round, trying to recapture the initiative. Marquez looking to land another uppercut as Pacquiao comes in. Hopping to the body. Pacquiao fans booing because they thought the punch was low. It was right on the belt line. When you see Marquez, you think of a fighter like... Oh, right 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 he was right hidden right. behind other top fighters for a long time. And finally got his chance. Oh, Pacquiao landed the right to left. Marquez takes him well and stunned Pacquiao with a right hand at the bell. What a fight. Look at the consistency of Juan Manuel Marquez. Every single round he throws between 40 and 45 punches. He's like a metronome. Very act factor, too. He's been hit that, that, that was good, but you still right. lower in your hand. He got hit with the you same, that body. dropped him the first round. Be careful. Manny, listen to me. Manny, listen to me. Do not let him get you control of the fight. Yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to back him up with the jab. All right? You keep backing him up. You back him up, and you, see, you keep control of this fight. You hear me? Yeah. Manny, he's getting tired. All right? Okay. You can go all night long. All right? Larry, Emmanuel, can you remember watching a man get knocked down in the first round three times and then come back to win the fight recently? I don't know when I've seen that. I can't recall. Person, so many fights, and the oh, third really? knockdown ends the fight. So I, I don't recall something like that. I'd have to go back to Oshimo and Von Derrell, probably. Floyd Patterson and Inga Mario Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> Used to trade knockdowns like they were punches. And it's, he's getting hit with the same punch sometimes now, but he's taking the punch now. Because he's backing up, uh, Emmanuel. He's not coming forward the way he started the fight, walking into the punch. So he's able uh, to shake off the power. Oh, 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 
to defuse it. Yeah, I think he's had warmed up is what it basically comes down to. Before he got, he got, got caught cold. Straight on the chin. Marquez did a great job of grabbing Pacquiao and spinning him to the ropes. Cortez did a great job of stepping in before Marquez could take advantage of it. Freddie Roach from round to round, pleading with Pacquiao, don't let him take control of the fight. Too late. It may have already happened. You cannot go straight back to Pacquiao. When he starts coming in with that point right jab, he's going to shoot the straight oh, no, no, left, no, right down the middle. Okay, you got to bend down or either try to make him back up. Okay, you okay, never can go straight back. Pacquiao seems to be uh, deciding to use more of his boxing skills uh, because that one hand kind of fight was losing its effectiveness. Round eight, the most tactical round of the fight as both fighters have been up on their toes the entire time. This round is up for grabs in the last minute. Somebody's gonna score some punches and win it. Uppercut by Marquez. Pacquiao trying to get to the chest with the left hand. Pacquiao's got a body lot, shots by Marquez. A lot of good body movement from Pacquiao. I mean, as the fight goes on, you get almost tired and confused just with his body with him, trying to time him coming in and out. But Marquez strafes him twice with the right hand. And as Pacquiao looks off balance, Marquez scores against the ropes. Enough and another hard right probably. to the body. And suddenly Marquez is in position to win the round. Pacquiao gets the crowd thrilled as he lands a body oh, shot, but misses wildly with the left. Let's go, yeah, keep the punches up, both of you guys. More and more, Pacquiao's missing with the left, while Marquez is landing with the counter right. It looks like Marquez has won another round. Okay, you can't afford to lose any rounds because if you lose one, you're, you're going to lose the fight. Okay, we can't we can't let the judges decide this. You decide. Jab in the leg, the overhand left's working for you. Okay. Okay. Now come back with the hook for me. Okay, finish him. Manny, you've got to back this man up and be in control. Do not let him back you up. You hear me? Do not let him back you up and take control of the fight. You hear me? You be the boss out there, son, okay? Okay. Control the fight. Don't be too overconfident. Let's go. It's way too close. Let's pick it up. What a great finish we're going to have. In one corner, you have Nacho Beristain telling Juan okay. Manuel Marquez, go out there and get a knockout. In the other corner, Freddie Roach is telling Manny Pacquiao, don't back up. Do nothing but go forward. They're going to collide as round nine begins. Well, Marquez told us that he was prepared to make a war of it if it came to that. Round eight was the first round in which Marquez threw fewer than 40 punches, but he landed enough of them down the stretch of the round to appear to win it. But neither one did much punching. For the most part, Pacquiao just moved around a lot. That's why I called that round easy. You know, it's funny, when Pacquiao moves around, he really doesn't box, he just moves around. It looks like he's boxing, but he doesn't really jab or do too much. He just bounces back and forth without really boxing. Blocked. Pacquiao still showing amazing energy. Good energy level. He just cannot really get his rhythm right. His punching accuracy rate has gone way down since the start of the fight. Obviously, in round one, he was landing. Recently, he has not been able to land his straight left. Yep, and when he does land it, for the most part, it's not that effective as it was earlier. That punch blocked by the right glove of Marquez. Oh, bring on, bring on. Pacquiao increasingly frustrated. Block one, and then he dropped down underneath the other second. You watch 
Pacquiao is not a dangerous guy when you go to him. Because he's not a counterpuncher. He only can punch when he's coming, bouncing forward. If you make him back up, you don't have to worry about getting counterpunched. Really. Which is why Freddie Roach was telling his fighter, don't you dare back up. You he's must go forward the rest of the fight. Yeah, he's not a counterpuncher. He doesn't punch good when you back him up. He has to get set to make that bounce. But you back him up at your own risk. Yeah, but it's not too bad because he doesn't, he doesn't punch that good when you're coming at him. He, he gets set and he bounces in with that straight left, but he has to make a big lunge on it. He doesn't shoot short punches that good. I mean, so far in this round, Pacquiao seems to be outboxing Marquez. Pacquiao landing two one twos. Manages to dodge Marquez's right hand, lands another left. Big grin on Pacquiao's face as suddenly he begins experiencing some of his better success. Marquez gets him with the left and knocks him back into the ropes. Pacquiao comes forward again. Blood trickling from Marquez's nose again. Hard right hand by Marquez. They trade shots at the center of the ring. Manny Grosvenor stands up as if to say, I love it, we're fighting. Okay, man. Hey, brother. Yeah. Drink that. Drink a little bit. You need it. Oh, boy. Relax. Let All me, right, man. <coughs> man. Yeah. The jab and the hook is working great for you, okay? Okay. Now, now I want it more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hey, this guy's tired. Do not let him. Do not let him take control of this fight. This is too close to fight right now, man. He's not doing too much with his left. So, but, but be careful of it. Keep boxing him. Put an excellent plan. Winning round after round. Careful with the left. Copybox numbers through the ninth round show Pacquiao throwing about 100 more punches, but landing at a lower percentage. Marquez with a 20 punch edge in Power Connects, 95 to 75. The harder punches, well, Pacquiao in the first three rounds, and then Marquez since then. But in the last round, Pacquiao seemed to reestablish himself as the aggressor, and that's what his trainer, Freddie Roach, has been wanting. A lot of people biting their nails on the other side of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> a lot of people it biting is, their nails on the other yeah, side of the ring. Yeah, Murad Mohammed, the promoter of Pacquiao, is biting his nails. Big time. It was Murad Mohammed who elected to take the gamble of choosing an extremely ambitious fight schedule for Pacquiao in the wake of his big victory over Barrera. To go straight from Barrera to Marquez. And then if he wins, to go on to Eric Morales. Trying to dispose of the top three featherweights of the last 10 years in nine months. But it's gotten rough here. After a blazing and glorious first round in which Pacquiao knocked Marquez down three times, Marquez may be within range of coming back to win the fight. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez answers immediately with the right. They get ready to trade again. Fight comes alive. Pacquiao's hand speed coming back. Suddenly, he's more aggressive. He's finding his range again with that straight left again. Blood trickling from Marquez's nose. Remember that judges sometimes score blood. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez backing up on the defensive. Pacquiao suddenly more comfortable than at any time since the early round. Yeah, it seems like Marquez has used all of his strength trying to just get back into the fight after taking that pound in the first round. And at this stage here, he may be starting to weaken again because he's been just fighting so hard to get back into the fight. Plus all of that blood that he's probably been swallowing to. Let's take this offense. Right, 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 this is over the top with the left hand. And he's probably still down a fully recuperated from that first round pounding. Marquez power at his nose with his glove. 
A sign that the bleeding is bothering him again. Hard left hand by Pacquiao lands flush again. And just as you said, Emmanuel, he's dialing it in. He's finding the rain. Lands again. Marquez misses with one right, now lands one. Gets Pacquiao into the corner. Did he hurt you? Okay, let's get some ice. It's 11th round. You're, you're, you're almost there. Six more minutes and you'll win. Hey, relax for me. Give me, right, give me a chance. Manny. All right, now you're destroying this guy when you go to him. You're destroying him when you go to him with the one two, right? Okay. All right, now let's finish up, okay? Okay. Body and head. You hear me? Okay. Manny. It's round number 11, son. Suck it up for me, okay, son? Okay. Come on, baby, let's do it! Come on! CompuBox numbers from the 10th round show Pacquiao landing 10 out of 17 power shots. Substantiating the point that Emmanuel Stewart made, he dialed in the left hand again, found the range, landed his big shots for the first time since early in the fight. Harold, how do you have it through 10? You know, it's a, it's a back and forth fight. At the end of round six, I thought it was pretty darn close. But round seven, eight, nine, and 10, I just like maybe Pacquiao's left hand. I thought he was the aggressor. I thought his left hand was doing more damage. It was landing sharper. He was the cleaner puncher. 96, 91, six rounds to four, Manny Pacquiao. He's got that big point lead because of that 10-6 first, first round. It's very possible Marquez needs a knockout to win this fight. And perhaps reckoning or recognizing that his fighter might be weakening, Nacho Berestein didn't make that point between rounds, instead saying, hang in there for six more minutes. Both fighters looked exhausted after the 10. show here. Steps inside, lets his hands go again. Marquez pops him with a perfect right hand in return. Pacquiao's left, Marquez is right. They'll go down the stretch trading those shots. is holding his mouth tells you how much he's bothered by the blood coming out of yeah, his nose. Yeah, we've been fighting through a lot of pain from the, after the first round. Oh, what a big right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao took it pretty well. This round, at this point, he's been able to neutralize Pacquiao's left hand. And once he neutralizes the left hand, he's neutralized everything. Before tonight, Juan Manuel Marquez had never participated in the kind of dramatic slugfest which typified the great careers of his two Mexican countrymen, Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. Now he's got one. Question is, can he come back and win it? Yeah, but I think win or lose, he's made his mark among Mexican fans for showing the courage and the fortitude to put himself back into this fight. I feel like giving them both the standing place. And I believe he won this round. Hey, it, it's, if you, you're going to win this, it's an incredible victory. It didn't look like you're going to win, but you got it now. First round? All right, Manny. This is your round, son. We need this round badly. Manny, all right? You're going to put him on his ass this round. You hear me? Okay. Now, Manny, look for the double left hand. Do not let him be first. Okay. You have to be first. 
don't, don't wait for nothing now. He is trying to go oh, after oh, him. Oh, you're, up, oh, you're up by three points. Oh, We're winning this fight. Both fighters believe they can win this fight if they win this round. Which fighter has something left? The crowd is on its feet at the MGM Grand. And some of them in the higher seats are down, are bound to stay standing throughout the round. Freddie Roach wants to take nothing for granted. He asked Manny Pacquiao to go knock Marquez out. Marquez starts out the round, landing big shots. wants to box his way through the round, try to win it and take his chances with the scorecards. Pacquiao's trainer told him he couldn't afford to be satisfied with that. Perhaps because he knows that his fighter only fights at his best when he's going forward and attacking. condition highly motivated highly skilled athletes both with great hearts two fighters giving you everything they've got two real fighters from their guts both can box both can punch both have the hearts of champions this is a good fight here, and, in a, and I just wondered if Marquez hadn't been so badly physically damaged the first round, this would have been one tremendous fight. Even though it's been good as it is, it would have been even better, I felt. Well, I, I feel the knockdowns in the first round made the drama that we're watching. And both guys are in great condition, too. 30 seconds to go. There is no other candidate for fight of the year. Not at this moment. We'll see what happens in the rest of 2004. But nothing in the first five months of 2004 can compare with this. Fire against fire. Down the stretch. Pacquiao's left. Marquez is right. Last chance to make a statement as the bell gets ready to ring. Pacquiao winning a close fight. Harold, how'd you finish up? <laughs> okay, Jim. I thought Manny Pacquiao pulled up that rope crowd, but certainly I thought Juan Manuel Marquez won the 11th. 115, 110, seven rounds to five, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Jim, that 10 6 round was just impossible to overcome. Juan Manuel Marquez, a sensational, gutty performance. Winning rounds three, four, five, and six. I, I thought Pacquiao came back very strict, uh, very well in the seventh, eighth, and ninth. And then, you know, they split the final rounds. So, 115, 110, Pacquiao. Keep in mind as you listen to that 115, 110 scorecard from Harold that he scored round seven, eight, nine, and ten all for Pacquiao. I think it, the, those were difficult rounds to score. It might be closer on some cards. Bert Clemens of the United States is one of the three judges. He scored Morales Ayala 117-11 for Morales. It was an easy fight for Eric. Guy Jutra, notable fight. Ayala Tapia scored 115-114 for Ayala. And Ayala was indeed the winner of that fight. And now John Stewart of New Jersey, who scored Jones Tony for Roy Jones, which was indeed correct that evening.
You know, it's amazing saying you're watching the crowd excitement about featherweights when 10, 15 years ago, nobody even thought that you would have featherweights Charlie, on TV. But then there came a little guy named Nassim Hamed. And, and he created the mold of the featherweight slugger. Yeah. And then along came the next featherweight slugger, Manny Pacquiao. And tonight, in the first round, Manny Pacquiao stunned Juan Manuel Marquez. And to the shock of everyone at ringside, knocked Marquez down three times in the first round. There was a moment when you didn't think Marquez was going to effectively get up from that third knockdown, but he did. He survived the last 30 minutes or 30 seconds of the first round. By rounds five and six, Marquez was coming back and was winning the fight, or at least winning rounds, knocking Pacquiao back with his right hand, avoiding the left. But by the latter stages of the fight, Pacquiao began to land his straight left hand again and brought the blood back out of Marquez's apparently broken nose. In the 11th round, they traded shots as both fighters tried to muster a knockout shot to close things out. And then they both fought their way evenly, more or less, through the 12th. Maybe Pacquiao won it with some big left-hand shots in the middle of the round. And Manny is the likely winner as we get ready for the scorecards, it would appear, because of the 10-6 first. Let's go to Michael Buffer and find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, after 12 great featherweight rounds, we go to the scorecards. John Stewart scores it 115 to 110 for Pacquiao. Guy Jutra scores it 115 to 110 for Marquez. And Bert Clements scores the bout. 113, 113, a three-way split. The bout is a draw. Both fighters keep their respective titles. The bizarre scoring and the controversial draw were reflective of a great fight in which both the attacker, Pacquiao, and the counterpuncher, Marquez, had seemed to succeed in applying their craft. And based on that fight, no one would have expected that four more years would pass before they'd meet again. But Marquez turned up his nose at the initial offer for a rematch and set off on a series of questionable business decisions that helped to delay their ultimate second meeting. That was also a great fight, and you can catch it on another edition of HBO Classics. Meanwhile, we remind you to tune in for the third fight in this terrific trilogy, Juan Manuel Marquez versus Manny Pacquiao, live from Las Vegas, November 12, on HBO Pay-Per-View. Don't miss it. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.